12 minutes before 6 o'clock, cleanup out east is continuing around the clock. After that massive storm dumped more than two feet of snow in many areas. Millions of people across the east coast are headed back to work this morning, but it won't be easy. Many emergency travel bans have been listed, lifted, but as Brian Webb reports for us, getting around on those slick snow-covered roads is proving tricky. Federal offices and schools in the nation's capital remain closed this morning as people in the area continue to dig out from under two feet of snowfall. Crystal Lucas got a hand uncovering her buried car from a good Samaritan. Even on a sunny day, they probably wouldn't even say hello. But in, in a time of need, people are here to help. In Virginia and Maryland, residents did their best to chip away at the mounds of snow ahead of the start of the work week. 70-year-old Steve Meinkoff spent hours shoveling out his entire driveway only to have passing plow trucks undo all of his work. I'm almost so outraged by the state, I'm liable to have a stroke now thinking about it. While much of New York City came back to life after record snowfall totals, residents here in Queens are still dealing with unplowed roads. We're all wondering what happened to the uh, sanitation department, why they didn't care about these blocks. You know, they took care of the, the main roads. The impact is also being felt at many of the nation's busiest airports. Carol Alves and her friends have been trying to get home to New Jersey in time for her milestone birthday today. So this is not what I thought my 30th birthday was going to be like, but, you know, it's a story. Airports along the East Coast are slowly getting back to normal, but hundreds of flights have already been canceled for today. Brian Webb for CBS News, New York. More than two dozen deaths in 10 states are being associated with that storm. The heaviest snowfall, 42 inches, was reported in Glen Gary, West Virginia. The storm did also cause some major flooding in parts of New Jersey, where hundreds of thousands of customers lost power.